I've always been active, uh, I, I've always loved contemporary art and nature at the same time, actually. Yeah? So I've been very uh, involved with the environment through my family, but also through uh, my grandmother's collection um, with uh, contemporary art, which I really, really cherish and love the way she showed me particular things at a young age, I mean, when I say young, we were living quite far apart because we, I grew up in the Camargue, which is close, close to our, and she um, was living in Basel, in Switzerland. And very, uh, I was already, I was born in Basel, but only two weeks old when I, I left for the Camargue. So it means that I, I, oh, I took in the, the characteristics of the, of the two, two places, and I really like to get involved. I guess I don't remember it, but maybe since a uh, very young age, when I was uh, a child, I always had lots of connections in art. And when I grew uh, between 15 and 18, 20, uh, I uh, moved to Geneva for school, and this is when I, uh, I met my grandmother a lot. So she was knowing the artists, and through her, I really, really loved to meet the artists. I just um, uh, saw um, that Marina Abramovich will, will open a pavilion at, um, <laughs> in Basel at the Tempeli Museum. You, you do collect privately for yourself. Yeah, I your, collect your, a lot. You have your famously beautiful I uh, need my royal house, house <laughs> which many people have, have yeah. raved about with your beautiful collection there. So I mean, you, you do collect artworks and you do collect, I'm just curious about your experience as a private collection, the relationship, really, of your lone wolf collecting. Well, first like, I have to keep, uh, to keep money for myself, which is difficult. Mm. But then I just go and um, I, um, I shop, like many collectors. I was wondering if there are any kind of, obviously, you know, you've, you've been collecting for many, many, many years. And you're, you've been in the art yeah. world for a long time. And as you say, the art world has radically changed, even in the last decade, even since the first freeze, actually, 11 years ago. But Nonetheless, you know, I think there's still principles to apply, and I'm curious to know whether there's any advice that you could give collectors. You've given some already, in a way, saying, you know, think, take it easy. But, but uh, what would well, you no, on the first day you have to run and yeah, well, get your well, stuff, because <laughs> otherwise it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> so I have no, no advice to give, <laughs> except uh, do what you like. <laughs> And uh, if possible, if you really are interested in uh, contemporary art, uh, try to meet the artists too. And this does not only have my affairs. Huh? It's just a whole, whole thing. And I think the galleries are very helpful lately to establish these relationships and to explain where the works come from and what. Yeah. Well, really good galleries want their artists' work to be in sympathetic homes, don't they? So if you do express an interest, even if you haven't got a huge budget, yeah. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a good, a good, sure, a good yeah. starting point. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it is, it is actually very interesting to go to fairs because it, it really shows you also the, the, the panorama of the day somehow, and at the same time you can make wonderful discoveries too if you walk. Uh, I know, I know some friends who love fairs. <laughs> Because it's really showing you, huh? it's really showing you what's going on. Huh? Of course, the fair is also this, um, this um, it, it just helps for a whole city to concentrate, even a huge city like London. Now we have the best shows at the same time in the fair, you have uh, in the museums, the galleries make special efforts also outside of the fair, but we all know this. Huh? It's, it's a contemporary art festival now. And it's week. becoming a really, yeah, I love that you say that, that's what it is.